The world is transitioning to carbon neutrality in line with the commitments by organizations and governments to limit global temperature rises. This means abating and ultimately stopping the use of fossil fuels to power our buildings, our vehicles, our planes, ships, and industrial processes. There's a lot of pressure from consumers to have a completely green supply chain, which is motivating retailers and shipping companies to seek a net zero solution. By having consumer demand, you can drive shipping companies to replace their diesel with green fuels like green ammonia. Green ammonia is a zero greenhouse gas solution that allows this highly pollutive sector to decarbonize by 2050, if not sooner. Intercontinental Energy produces green fuels. We are the world's leading developer of green hydrogen and green ammonia. We take upstream wind and solar from these coastal desert sites and we use that constant low-cost power to take a seawater, desalinate it, and then separate it into hydrogen and oxygen. The rapid decline in solar and wind energy cost is now making it possible for green fuels to become economical compared to today's fossil fuel derived alternative. Building the projects at scale is a further way to improve the cost competitiveness of green fuels projects. The economies of scale is the cheapest way to produce anything to do it at scale. Due to the size of each project, we can attract a dedicated supply chain and we can attract industries that need green power. So we build communities around the projects. Really, it's having such a happy community that also feeds back to the project as well. My co-founder and CEO, Alex Tancock, has spent his entire career in renewables. And he discovered that there are certain areas that are much better suited for producing the lowest cost green energy. The global search for sites was driven by a desire to identify specific features in our projects. Large, flat, remote sites near the coast, this being important for access to water for the desalination plants, and also to enable goods to arrive into the project and the export of our fuels to the end customers. Excellent solar and wind resources, of course, and a pattern of high solar generation during the day combined with really strong wind generation during the night. This is also called the diurnal profile of a site. The ease of doing business in a country when it comes to planning, development, and construction of large-scale projects is really important. The combination of these three factors means that we have some of the best lowest cost green fuel producing sites in the world today. Because we have such a large portfolio, 200 gigawatts across four projects, two in Western Australia, one in Oman, one in Saudi Arabia, we are able to apply best practices and cross-pollinate across projects. And this cross-pollination is more efficient and allows us to use information from other projects to help inform decision-making elsewhere. Mother & Group is a developer of industrial projects, especially in the mining sector. We have been working with the principal ICE since 2006. In 2014, I became an advisor and shareholder. We also focus in the energy sector. We recently made a public announcement of setting up an assembly plant for 10,000 hydrogen trucks and NEOM. Intercontinental Energy and its partners, OQ and Intertech, are building a 25 gigawatt fuel production facility to produce green electricity, hydrogen, and ammonia, making Oman a leader in the world. ICE is bringing a lot of lessons learned and knowledge uh, being transferred from Australian projects to the GC projects. To name a few, doing the right things in the right order, as well as bringing innovative uh, solutions thought of and well discussed, considering sustainability, innovation, and inclusion as a baseline for the development of the project. Our second project in Western Australia is the Western Green Energy Hub, and that is a partnership with the Murning people. They're the traditional owners of the land. They not only have a stake in the project, in the company, but they have a seat on the board forever. We are focused on the triple bottom line, 
which means placing equal emphasis on the economic viability of the project, but also its impact on the environment, its impact on the people surrounding the project. Obviously, the project will generate additional sources of revenue for the country and create thousands of jobs directly and indirectly. It will also expand the supply chains industry and act as a magnet for industry companies seeking inexpensive green energy, building industry clusters and permanent employment opportunities. In addition to producing green fuels, the sustainability aspect of our projects include from the start the considerations of all environmental components that go into the production of such green fuels. We believe green ammonia will evolve in a similar manner to LNG. We are focused on green ammonia now for replacement of fuel in North Asia and as a shipping fuel globally. We think demand from heavy transport, aviation, industrial chemical sectors will also increase dramatically. Based on analysis in the Net Zero by 2050 roadmap released by the International Energy Agency, global demand for green hydrogen increases to 320 million tons per annum to meet these global carbon reduction commitments. The transition to green fuels such as hydrogen, ammonia and methane produced by renewable energy instead of fossil fuels is really just starting now.